Hello, this is Chuck Severance, and welcome to a little demonstration of my latest little crazy long afternoon of hacking. Um, I call my little gadget a thing called Dazzle Sketch. Um, I say it's Omni Dazzle meets JavaScript. And what this really is, is uh, I've, I've been using this product called Omni Dazzle to uh, annotate lectures and scribble on lectures, Khan Academy style. And um, and OmniDazzle stopped working in recent operating systems, and they don't even distribute it anymore. And so I really missed it. I've been using other tools, and they have ugly user interfaces. I want a silent user interface where you just hit keys, and colors change, and things like that. And so um, I was playing with this bit of code called sketch.js. Um, it's really cool. It's a, it's a very simple, widely licensed code, and it uh, just draws on canvases, right? And so you can change color and draw on canvases and, and do things and make wider and narrower uh, things. And it doesn't take much HTML. You can draw pictures and then you can erase the pictures and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. And uh, this is a MIT licensed. And so I thought, what could I do with this? And so the idea of Dazzle Sketch is that um, it creates it creates a canvas that's the full size of the window, regardless of what HTML document is behind it, and it sort of puts itself in front to draw on it, and then hides itself when you're not drawing, and uses a series of simple control sequences that uh, I took really from Omni Dazzle, and um, so away it goes. So let me just show you this. Um, here is a sample bit of code. They, it's been, it's a normal bit of code and everything works. And then I will hit control one and then I can draw on things. And I hit control two, the color changes. Control three, control minus makes a smaller line. Control equal sign makes a bigger line. And so you get the idea and then I can erase things and then the keystrokes uh, happen again. And so that's it. That's pretty much it. The idea is, is that just like I'm using Camtasia right now, I will use this for lectures. Now the nice thing is, is you can drop this into the back of a reveal.js presentation, which is what I'm experimenting for my next online class to make my slides more translatable, to use them all in reveal.js eventually, um, and then put them all in GitHub so that uh, I think translations in GitHub are going to work really well. So this is just a standard reveal.js um, operation and so so for example we notice that we can hover and there's a hover action and there's a keystroke action so when I move my cursor but um, <clears throat> Dazzle Sketch is sitting here latent so I just hit control 1 and now it's put this canvas so now I can draw on top of everything control I change my colors make a cool colors and whatever color we got here so I got lots of colors right and I can do all those things and I can pretty much draw right to the edges of, uh, oops, can't get quite over there. i got to fix that. That looks like a bug of some kind. So i got to get the drawing to work. But I can draw pretty much everywhere here. Um, and so uh, I draw this whole thing. And then if I want to, so you'll notice that I can't click on that link anymore. And there's no hover behavior. And that's because I've taken over the canvas. But all you have to do is clear the screen and then the canvas slides back behind the normal content and then everything starts working again. And so that's it. Uh, right now I got this thing sitting up on uh, GitHub just to play with it. I will probably actually start start using it within days um, as I start making my my new set of reveal.js lectures for my uh, open courses and for open courseware because I really want that to be not only remixable but translatable and so I'm trying to come up with the most easily remixed translatable format and it keeps it coming to me that anything that's text-based even if it's a bit nasty HTML um, as long as it's in GitHub and people can fork my uh, learning materials um, then I'm pretty happy about that so we'll see how it goes but uh, look forward to you uh, sending me some comments uh, I'm, I'm at Dr. Chuck on Twitter um, so Find me on Twitter. I'm always watching on Twitter. So if you just mention it, Dr. Chuck, I'll see it. So cheers. Thanks a lot.